We're back talking with Heather Beer from the Valley Christian Counseling Center about oxytocin and how um, it's giving it away to before <clears throat> before marriage leaves us less stickiness to bond to our partner. Because, because if you think about it, you know, here's, we'll just use a woman, for example. Um, it's kind of the, the pattern of I dated him, I had sex with him, I broke up with him. I dated him, I had sex with him, I broke up with him. So your brain kind of gets in that pattern of I'm not going to stay with this person forever. And then so what happens when a woman gets into marriage then is that she's kind of got her bags packed to a degree, you know, mm -hmm. um, waiting by the door because that's the pattern that has been established. And especially if, you know, like I said, the average um, number of partners is six, mm -hmm. you know, in America right now. That's, that's kind of that's a big number in terms of you know where you're how many people you're bonded to you know and the guys you just show with all this baggage and louis vuitton we think well at least it looks good <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah i want to know how it relates to men too but let's yes, do your experiment yes. first so chris men don't have that problem you have a different hormone <laughs> yeah kind of you know yes i don't know um but okay so chris i'm going to use your arm here and so we're going to pretend you're a 17 year old chris okay uh-oh <laughs> Since I'm only 19, that shouldn't be too hard. And uh, so this is his, for volunteering to do this. This is his new um, girlfriend. She's, you know, she's a nice curve. She's rather transparent. <laughs> and, uh, and so after, you know, after a few weeks, they, you start having sex. And so, so I there can't you're. We're doing this you're right bonded now. Uh, to <sighs> your girlfriend now. She's bonded to you. Brace and yourself. now I'll, I'll do it fast. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> oh. oh. And so look. So what do we have on the girlfriend now? I even felt that pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lots of, there you go, there's some stickiness. Gone. There's some, gone. yes, yeah. but what's on there? Hair. <laughs> <laughs> skin cells, you know. So Skin. <laughs> skin. <laughs> Just ripped a big chunk off there. Um, so what's going to happen the next time I stick this to another arm? So it won't adhere as much mm -hmm. as well. And then just think if you do that, like... Again and again and again. See, that doesn't hardly hurt, you know? Ah. Yep. It's not as sticky. Pretty soon by the time you're married, you're saying, there's not a lot of stickiness left. Yeah, and of course this isn't the case for every single person out there. Mm -hmm. But it's just some really fascinating research on what um, could be playing into some of the divorce uh, numbers that are going on right now. So, what do, what's the hormone that men have? You mentioned it, but mm -hmm. how it's does called it, vasopressin. Okay, how does it work for them? And it's kind of a loyalty hormone. Okay. Um, and so it acts like I'm going to protect my woman. I'm going to, you know, stand here and stay by her. That type of thing. So does that? Are they affected? when you know men sleep with a lot of women before they might they are it's not married? it's not as strong as for women um but it definitely they definitely are not unaffected you know oh, i mean yeah. there's just no there's just no way um for humans because we're designed i mean we're hardwired for relationship for intimate deep relationship and there's no way that a person can say oh you know casual sex doesn't bother me it doesn't affect me I can just I can be friends with this person and I, I mean it's just it's not the case and maybe some people can talk them into the, the themselves into that for a period of time but you look at um, the college students right now you know the friends with benefits thing like you mentioned before um, I can guarantee you that 99 percent of those girls are torn up inside because what they really want is a relationship they want to have someone to share life with and the guy um, might not be quite in that place. And so, you know, they kind of come and go and come and go. And she's, you know, torn up inside because we've talked before about the, you know, like women's brains are like spaghetti, you know. So, and, and this is really, uh, it, it affects, it can affect her whole life um, in terms of all aspects. I think that's what's so sad. You actually see movies coming out with the names called Friends with Benefits mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. Unattached and all this stuff. And it just diminishes, you know, the sexual yeah. relationship. Where I think that also tears up women. So you have all this societal mm -hmm. pressure like, everybody's doing this. But they're really not. No, and they aren't. You know, more than half of high school students across the nation now are choosing abstinence until they, um, until they graduate, or mm -hmm. you know, at least by the point that they've graduated, over fifty percent are choosing that. It's really, we don't give our kids enough credit. We don't hold them to high enough standards. Any last words in the, in the last twenty seconds that we've got? In the last twenty seconds. Yeah. Well, I just think this is important because um, it, it when you can get when you get caught up in you know the whole I want to be popular or I want to be you know uh, the friends with benefits thing I, I want this guy maybe if I give him you know something then he'll stay with me um, it's not a, it doesn't end up working out that way and it ends up harming both people in the long run it affects your life later on yeah ah thank you so much Great for job. joining us thank yes you. thanks okay stay close we'll be right back